Thank you, Jesus. Silo Avere Sotolor, Corevere Sotio. Hennis in the law. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Rain down. Have your way, Lord. Every solo, I have it is on the re, every light is on the re, it is so to raw. How to be loud, I could have it is so deal. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, be like a bit is on the door, but it's the video. I'll be this on the recalo also, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, hello, everyone. I hope all is well. Yes, God is so good. But no matter what, all is well. I hope you had a good week. Um, the Lord's been showing me doors and um, just so much. And I know he has something. <laughs> For someone in this word, it may not be for everybody, but it is for somebody. And that I do know. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So he took me to Isaiah 26 and really read it. I encourage you to just read it. Marinate over Isaiah 26. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, Isaiah 26 and 3, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Yeah, it's a key piece. It's a key piece for the transition and for the expansion that is happening in this hour. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to 26 and 15. You have increased the nation. Oh, Lord, you have increased the nation. You are glorified. You have expanded all the borders of the land. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. I choose to stay excited. <laughs> when I don't feel excited, I get excited. You know how I just praise Jesus. I'm the crazy praiser because he's worthy. He's always worthy no matter what we feel, no matter what we're facing, no matter what someone we love is going through. You know, it isn't, you know, um, compassionateless to praise him, even when someone's in pain that we love. We still praise, right? We still praise because we know he's in control of everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for the expansion, Lord, for your people. Lord, I thank you for the doors, the doors, the doors. I thank you, Jesus, for your word to go forth, Lord. I just thank you for everything that you are and what you're doing for the world for the children of God. I thank you for your mercy. Lord, I thank you for your mother. Ah, oh, Jesus, my Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you for your mercy, Lord. I thank you for your mercy, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for this word. I know you have something you want to say. <laughs> and I just thank you for direction lord i thank you that if you're for us that nobody can be against us lord i thank you that it's all washed away by your blood yes thank you jesus hallelujah 
Yes. Or whatever it is you want to say, here I am. Use me, Jesus. Or remove me. Remove my wretched flesh. And let it be your spirit. And your spirit alone. That says whatever you want to say to your children, Lord. Yes, all the way, so all the way. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, in your precious, holy, and mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, he spoke so very loudly to me. You know, sometimes you hear um, in your spirit, you hear him speak so loud. It's not necessarily an audible voice. You just hear him in your spirit, and he says something so loud that it, you know, it's like um, that song, you know, one word from you, my mountains turn to pebbles. <laughs> and he speaks so loud sometimes, and sometimes he doesn't speak at all, right? But he was so loud, and he said, tell them the transition is over. I thought, but Lord, but Lord, I don't, I don't think it's over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, yeah, you know, yeah, we don't know, but God knows. And he said, no, it's over. The door, you've walked through it already, but there's a succession of doors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You see, we've been in this transition. Many of us have been in this transition and, and the Lord has opened a door that no man can shut. Hallelujah. For many of you, he's opened a door that no man can shut. And not only have you walked through unknowing, unknowingly, not knowing what you would face, not knowing um, the outcome, but you just, you listen. It's a time where expansion is here because of your obedience to him. Thank you, Jesus. And again, test this word. You know, this is not for everyone, but I believe it is for a remnant people. It is for those that just obey the voice of the Lord. And in everything, they just do what he commands them to do in the big, in the little. And it is a time of expansion. And this expansion is going to happen so fast, so fast because of all the seeds, all the years, all the things that you've done in secret are coming into fruitation in the physical realm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. The expansion is people. You know, he says, be prepared for the succession of doors. Be prepared for the harvest. Be prepared for the expansion. Because even now, even now, even now I'm drawing them in. Even now I'm using your testimony. Even now I'm using that pain you went through. Even now I'm using, you know, your mistakes. Even now I'm showing them who I am through you. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, one of the things that goes with this, thank you, Jesus. Hmm. You know, some people can interpret uh, their prayer language. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm saying this for someone. So the Bible talks about praying in tongues in, in Corinthians. Um, I believe it's 1 Corinthians. I could be wrong. Um, yes, Lord. The Bible talks about, I don't know why I'm going Praying in tongues and that um, you need someone to interpret, right? But it also talks about unless you can interpret yourself. Some people are given a gift. To be able to um, kind of communicate with God, I guess, in that way where, you know, uh, they'll pray in the spirit and in, in tongues and they'll hear from God. So sometimes it's not required. You know, sometimes um, that that one individual can can edify themselves and others through that gift that, that God gives. Um, it is. It's 1 Corinthians um, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. 14. 
is really where it is. And I, I, I don't know why I went there, but I did. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holo I very so the Lord of her very so Theo. Holy very so the Lord of so David Lannis on the day. Hello, I very so Theo. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, I very so the Lord of the on the law. Hello, I very so Theo. Huh. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, bring it back, Jesus. Kilo I vidi so to loy. Hennis on the Lord of so teo aloy. My God, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, you see, we can have a personal relationship to our Father because Jesus died to leave the Spirit behind. Hallelujah. And I tell you this, it's a beautiful thing. It's the most beautiful experience, the most greatest relationship that you will ever, ever have in your life. And I dare you to try. Yes, because the Holy Spirit is our best friend. The Holy Spirit walks with us and talks with us. And it looks crazy to those who don't have it. That's the thing. They just, they're missing out, okay? And with this transition has come uh, a place of rejoicing, okay, in rejection. You see, um, the whole entire purpose of the gospel is to be more like Jesus. And Jesus was rejected. Jesus was misunderstood. But see, what has happened is God has brought you to a place where you're rejoicing and you're okay with that. And he's, he's kind of full circling it. Okay. So where you may have felt rejected, where you may have been rejected, um, where <laughs> you still may be misunderstood. See, this, this expansion comes through, you know, misunderstanding. Make no mistake, as, as this expansion happens, there will always be, always, there will always be opposition. There will always be, um, yes, I hear you, Lord, wolves in sheep clothing that, that point their finger at you, right? And it can be painful, but we have to know who we are. We have to be able to say, no, you know, oh, God, help them. Because see, what does the Bible say? Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Do my servants no harm. Do my children no harm. God is very jealous over his children. And so when we see the attacks or we see, you know, the word play and the witchcraft and, the, and people speaking um, about us in a negative way, Okay, we got to pray for them, but make no mistake that God will deal with them. And, and it's a fearful thing. And, and we don't wish this on anyone. This is why we, oh God, have mercy. Oh God, you know, because when, when you point the finger and the Lord, he, he, <laughs> for whatever reason, he allowed me to see something in it. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. But he spoke to me and he said, when someone's pointing the finger at you, there's three of them pointing back at them, three. And, and it's true, you know, you, you think about the shape of it, it is, you know. He said, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I don't want, I know what it's like to, to be on God's bad side. I've been there, just saying. Uh, it's ugly. It's, it's um, and, and, and at that time, I didn't know I was on his bad side, right? This is why, you know, you may be Thank you, Jesus. Wow. You may be called to intercede for that person that's pointing the finger at you. <laughs> hear me. Somebody hear me. Somebody catch this. Hallelujah. Not only do we love our enemies, but it is an action. It's not, oh, I love them. Oh, no, no. Behind closed doors when no one's looking, are you on your knees for them, for their salvation, for them to come to know Jesus? Because it's not a joke. It's not a game. 
But make no mistake in this expansion, there will be hate. There will be jealousy. My God, my God, my God. They don't understand the God in you. They don't understand, you know, um, what God has placed in you. They don't understand the gifts. They don't understand, you know, what it is you do, what you do, because they're not focused on themselves. You see, they're not focused on the Lord. And so with this expansion will come opposition. It will come hate. But see, we're called to pray because that very same person or people may come back around, right? And with this opposition, there's things being revealed coming to the forefront so that you will pray. So that you will become firmer, stronger in your identity in Christ. But make no mistake that the transition is over. Um, that there's a succession of doors that you're going to walk through. One right after the other. Because this is your time. It's your time. Why? Because the glory of God shines in your life through you and your obedience to the word of the Lord, that you hearken to his voice. So I want you to rejoice. Hallelujah. Jesus. You see, he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is fixed on him, not your circumstances, not your husband, your wife, your, your mom, your dad, your children. You see, because things come and things go, but the Lord, he stays the same. He doesn't change, you know, um, he's still one of a kind, right? Hallelujah. And he's just so good. He's just so good to us. And I just, um, oh man, yes, Lord, he's pouring out his love in a new way. It's almost like, you know, um, many of you, many of us have reached this new place in the spirit, you know, where, um, you know, we're just kind of basking in his love because, because he loves us so much. There's nobody loves us like he does. They never could. And some have the greatest intention and they really love us. And maybe they're even godly and they follow Jesus. And still, they could never love us like he does. They could never accept us like he does. They could never, you know, be there no matter what and, and, and never fail us. It's just impossible. We're human. We will fail. We will fall short. You know, all of us. It's where the mercy and the grace of God comes in. But it's a time where, yes, Lord, I hear you. Jesus. There's like a wave. It's a wave. It's a wave. And, and there have been many words I've seen, you know, for the time and time, you know. That's the thing. God's outside of time. But there is definitely a wave of him washing over you know, and it, it's an individual wave and, and it's also an individual thing. And so uh, people have to make their own decisions for themselves, right? Our job is just to love Jesus and to love them and to show them the life that they could have, the life that God wants to give them, the, 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 the relationship that the Lord Jesus Christ wants to have with everyone because he does. He wants to have that relationship with you and with me and with each soul, but but we all have to choose. Um, it's it's just it's up to us what we do, what we don't do, and he just wants us to surrender our hearts. From there, oh man, what a journey! What a beautiful journey! But be encouraged that your transition is over and God has been fighting battles for you behind closed doors. You haven't even seen what he's been doing. And it's about to come and, and show itself in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Rejoice. Rejoice. Because he's so good. Yes, he's so good. And that's the word. Yes. Be encouraged. You know, if you're feeling down, you're feeling defeated, you're probably looking within instead of to him. <laughs> Look back to Jesus. He's always the answer. I love you all. I got to go. And uh, yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Till the next time. Thank you, Jesus.